Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video we are going to learn about security, specifically filtering data using a session variable using IronSpeed Designer. Before we begin, I want to touch on what a session variable is and how we can use it to filter data. First of all, a session variable is a variable that is used to temporarily store a value as a cookie on your system. It expires with the end of your session or with a period of inactivity. Now, why we would want to filter data by a session variable is pretty simple. Natively, IronSpeed easily allows you to filter tables by a number of values, like the user ID, for instance. But sometimes you want to filter based on something else. In this example, the Southwind database contains, among others, an employees table and an orders table. Both of them have a region. In the case of employees, it's a field called region, and in the case of orders, ship region. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to run this application so that you can have a baseline and see how it functions natively. Now, to give you an idea of how this application functions before we make any changes to it, I'm going to take a look, and as you see, it's going to make me log in because we have enabled application security with the application security wizard. And the first place we're going to go is we're going to take a look at our orders. What we can see is that it's a pretty big order table. We have 832 items, and there are lots of fields, among them the ship region. So if I go to different pages in this table page, you can see you have some in Washington, some in uh, Oregon, lots of different places. And what we might want to do for this example is make it so that an employee of a given region is only allowed to view orders that are shipped to that region. Now, how would we do that? Well, an easy way is to filter using a session variable. Here's how. So the first thing we have to do is establish an employee's region. And the best time to do that is at the time they log in. So if we go to security within the application and sign in.aspx and within that sign in.aspx.vb, all we have to do is insert a small piece of code to store the region in a session variable upon login. Now I should point out, if you're going to do any ASP.NET coding, it's best to do it in Visual Studio rather than IronSpeed Designer because you benefit from IntelliSense and all the other features of Visual Studio. So we're going to launch Visual Studio from IronSpeed Designer and do our coding there. Now for those of you who know some ASP.NET, you know that retrieving data from the database usually requires a few lines of code. Uh, you have to set up your connection string, etc. But we're going to avail ourselves of IronSpeed's classes. These classes were installed when the application was generated. So this is going to turn this into a one line of code affair. So we'll start by saying session, and we'll call our session variable employee region, and we'll say this equals. And you can see we have the benefit of IntelliSense, which Microsoft Visual Studio helps us with. We need to get the region from the employees table for the person who's logged in. So we're going to say employees table dot get record. And now let's spell out our criteria where the employee ID is equal to we need to be able to retrieve that user ID of the person who logged in. Fortunately, um, that is made easier through IronSpeed. We could just say sysutils.getUserID.toString. Okay, and so now that constitutes uh, the record that we're looking for. We just need to now say dot the field, which is region. And you can see we could then add dot toString and I'm just going to close it. And that is our line. This is what is going to, to store the region of the employee who logs in into this session variable. The next part is the easiest part of all. Now that we've saved our Visual Studio file, 
We've closed Visual Studio and we've returned to our Iron Speed application. Uh, we can now go into the orders and the show orders table page. Let's back out. We, you can see we're in the order table control, order panel. Let's back out to the show orders table page and let's right click on orders table control and let's put a condition, a where, and we'll add where clause. So we'll say where the orders ship region is equal to, we're going to type equals session, and that's it. We've done it. And let's finish. So we're running our application again, and I'm logging in as the same employee that I did the last time. We're going to open it up, and I'm going to go straight to orders. And what we see is that the ship region for all the orders is only showing Washington, because that is the region that this employee has in his record. Uh, next, what we can do is uh, log out and log in as another employee. And we'll notice upon login, we'll go back to orders, and we see now that all of the uh, shipped orders are going to Oregon. So it's filtering what the employee sees based on the employee record. Overall, if you consider the ease of implementation and the multitude of uses, using these sorts of techniques to filter by a session variable can help you solve lots of problems. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information, you can visit the knowledge base or the forums at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.